Well, now with those pieces there, we're gonna be making a sick autumnal candle centerpiece. You can imagine that I'm planning to paint this. Or even a soup, if you wanna have your soup in this gorgeous mug here. Just watch me break in People, you're watching Cheska's channel and in today's video I am back with a transforming Poundland products video. I always hate the way I start these videos, it never makes sense, but today we have definitely got an awesome video. Now I have done my DIY Poundland transformations before, as you can see on the screen now. I loved creating them, they are super fun and of course they are super affordable. Now obviously there is a theme to today's Poundland transformations because we're going to be making seriously cute autumn decor from our Poundland products. Yes, we most definitely are. I can't wait to show you all the wonderful ideas that I've come up with. And I would like to remind you that this is going to be completely unique to you. No one else will have this in their home. It's not like something you can just buy off the shelf. This is something that's homemade, which is super special and it's just adorable. Let's crack on. Let's show you exactly all the lovely transformations I've got for you today. I really do hope that you enjoy. If you do and you are new here, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, can we just appreciate the dedication, guys? Favourite blouse ever. Let's show you the first thing I'm going to be transforming. So first up, I have some slate coasters. I had to think about that. Why did I have to think about that? In Poundland, you get a pack of two of these for, of course, one pound, which I think is really good anyway. And I also purchased these lovely, gorgeous candles. Now, this one here is actually called Orange Punch. It is rich and warming. Apparently, it has 29 hours of burn time. It smells incredible. This is what it looks like here. If you guys just want to purchase this anyway, this is such a great little purchase from Poundland for autumn. But I also got just the Pillar White Candle. This has 36 hours of burn time and it's unscented. But I like the fact that it's a little bit taller. So we have a difference in height here, which I really love. Well, now with those pieces there, we're gonna be making a sick autumnal candle centerpiece. And I'm gonna call it a centerpiece because you could put it in the center of your table. Or you could just have it as a lovely candle on the side on a shelving. So as always, everything is completely optional. You do not have to stick to to everything I do. One key thing for all these transformations in this video is, as always, some autumn leaves. Guys, these autumn leaves are so useful for just everything in general, for sprucing up your home. You can get them in Poundland, you can get them on Amazon. They have these lovely glitter pumpkins in Poundland. So you get a, a pack of 20 lovely little glitter pumpkins for only a pound, which I think is so good. I did get some napkins. And I also have these little cute acorns. So to start off with, we're gonna put some good tunes on. Now, as you can see, I'm getting my two slate coasters and we're simply just going to glue this together so that they become one. Then I'm going to get this lovely orange punch candle and we're just going to take off the film on both the orange candle and the white pillared candle. Then I feel like I want to spruce up that white pillar candle. So to do this, we're going to get a napkin. Now this is totally optional. You do not have to do this, but I've got this really beautiful autumn napkin and I'm just going to pick a certain section of this napkin that I like the most. <laughs> Now, once I've done this, you need to tear apart the napkin to the thinnest points. As you can see, I've teared that twice over, so I just have this really thin napkin piece. Then you just need to place this napkin over the candle wherever you would like it to sit. It's really that simple. And you just need to get some grease-proof paper. Now, this is so cool. I think this is just really awesome. But you simply just have to pop that grease-proof paper over the top of your napkin and just wrap it around that candle nice and tightly so it's on there securely. And then you just need to get a hairdryer and blow that hairdryer on that greaseproof paper, basically. This is going to stick that napkin on your candle. I mean, it really, really is. And it's totally fine to burn too, if you're worried about that. And then there you have it. I mean, hello, how cute. Obviously then all you have to do is tear off any edges if there are any, as I'm doing here. <laughs> And then what you want to do is you just want to glue the bottom of each candle and stick it to the slate coasters. 
Now this is the fun part now. We're gonna decorate this up and make this just look amazing as a lovely centerpiece. Now the way I'm doing this is using these beautiful autumn leaves and I'm just gluing them around the candle on this slate. I'm gonna use the slate coasters as the base to just stick all these beautiful, gorgeous decorations on. Now what's so great about these leaves is they slot perfectly around the pillar candle. And then as you can see, I'm just adding the sparkly, gorgeous little pumpkins and I will be adding the acorns too until I've got a full masterpiece that I'm super happy with. So we have gone from this slate coaster and these boring pillar candles <laughs> to an awesome autumnal centerpiece candle. I mean, I absolutely love this personally. I just think it's beautiful and so colorful and so vibrant. I mean, would you think that you actually made this from Poundland products? I feel like you wouldn't. It's just super unique, really beautiful, and I'm very chuffed with that one. Okay, okay, I'm feeling pumped after that first transformation. Okay, so next up, we have got this lovely, gorgeous little photo frame right here. For starters, I thought this was so cute from Poundland anyway. You guys, if you love photo frames, you can get this in Poundland for just one pound. So all you need for this is you need some orange paint or some gold paint, completely optional. Again, you don't need the paint if you just wanna leave this wooden. You can imagine that I'm planning to paint this obviously. As I mentioned with the previous one, maybe a little sparkly pumpkin or acorns might come into handy just to decorate the bad boy. And again, totally optional, but personally I've got this beautiful autumnal card. You can find some lovely autumnal paper in autumn magazines. You can print something off from online. You can do whatever floats your boat. And then also you just need some plain A4 paper. That's all you need. It's great. Simple, easy. Let's get on and do it. Okay, so next up we have this gorgeous photo frame. Now the first thing you need to do is just take out these temporary pieces of paper and you just want to grab a plate or whatever you have a palette and pick a gorgeous color to paint your frame with now in this case i have personally gone for orange but you can go for whatever color you would like but orange is obviously super autumnal and i'm just giving that a good lick of paint which i just think brings the whole thing to life <laughs> let that dry we're gonna go in and actually I, uh, you do actually need to bring back one of those pieces of paper don't screw them up like I did at the start because this will be used as a stencil now all you have to then do is pick some autumnal gorgeous paper now you can do this with autumn magazines you can print something off of the internet you can just use plain orange paper whatever you would like and all you need to do is you need to place that stencil on there draw around it with a pen and cut it out so you've got the right size for your photo frame Okay, so now I have three lovely pieces of card. You then just need to get an A4 piece of paper, trace around your card that you've just cut out as a stencil. And now I just think this is a great way of simply creating three pieces of A4 paper the same size. As you can see, I folded the paper in half twice. And now I'm gonna cut this out, but not completely on the black edge that I've drawn around. So I'm leaving an edge there so that you know it's slightly smaller than the card. So you have this beautiful border when you place that A4 paper on onto the card. And then you're just gonna stick that plain paper down and as you can see, it's got a really nice border around that. Now this part is totally optional. You can do whatever you would like, but personally I've just got a black marker and I've wrote autumn is here and I've tried my hardest to put some little funny little pumpkins and things around the edge, which I kind of failed with that, but it's cute, it's homemade, it's unique, very, very sweet. <laughs> You then just simply need to pin that card back onto the original pegs and then decorate it however you would like again. Whether that's putting those lovely pumpkins back in and acorns or sticking autumn leaves on, that's totally your choice. Now to make this a little bit more special, I decided to cut out a strip from the original card that I used, measured it against the side of the photo frame and simply stuck them down on each side. This then created a beautiful autumn as here frame, transformed from, as you can see, a very plain, pretty boring photo frame to something so colorful and so autumnal that again, you would not think was from Poundland. You just wouldn't. <laughs> Next up, we have a 
bottle, basically. I saw this in Powerland, and again, I mean, how sick, a quid for this. It is a light up wine bottle, definitely for Christmas. It's more like the Christmas range, but who says we can't transform it into autumn? No one, no one said that. And all you need for this transformation is the autumn leaves, basically. So this one is definitely the easiest one. Well, one of the easiest ones anyway. So as you can see, the first thing you've got to do is just simply take off those tags. We don't need those tags. And you just need to take the stopper out there. Now, this lights the bottle up, which is beautiful, but you do have a manual switch there to turn it on and off. Now, I just think that's super easy and so beautiful already. But then you just need to take out that stopper at the top. And with some beautiful autumn leaves, like I said, these leaves come in handy so much when creating autumn decor you just need to stuff that into there and I'd advise getting a pen or in this case I've got a paintbrush and just pushing that through because it's quite tight at the top there and that just pushes them down into the bottle and you just keep filling it up with lovely autumn leaves of different colors of different variations until you are fully happy with the amount of leaves you have in that bottle Now, once you've done this, you just need to stuff those fairy lights back in, pop the stopper on top, and there you have it. I told you it was simple. You now have a beautiful light up autumn leaf wine bottle. I mean, check this out. How stunning is this? It will look even cooler when it's a bit darker, which I will show you briefly in the next shots here. But it just really lights up a room. It's super colorful and the autumn leaves just bring it to life. So I love this one. So fab. I do just want to quickly show you a mug that I also bought in Poundland that I'm not going to transform, but I just wanted to show you it because I'm obsessed with it. I think it's really cute. I just wanted to buy it for autumn. So it's literally a little pumpkin mug. It's shaped as a pumpkin. It's this lovely orange colour, glazed. It's a beautiful size if you want to have a cuppa in there or a nice little hot chocky in there. Or even a soup if you want to have your soup in this gorgeous mug here. A quid, guys. I mean, a quid for a lovely autumnal mug like this. I just think that's absolutely amazing. Okay, okay. We're on a roll here today of feeling these autumnalness vibes. So next up, I picked up a buns on top, they call it, a donut set. So we have this little donut ring, which is how you create your hair like that in the picture. You get these little slides and you get some headbands. Now you get all of that for a pound, which in itself I think is pretty darn cool. We don't need the other two things, but guess what? You've purchased this, transform this donut, and you get a bonus of two new headbands and some hair slides from it, which is pretty sick considering we all need headbands and hair slides in our life. It's the things we always lose. And you need some old Old fabric whether that is just fabric that's lying around your home that you have or it's just old clothing so in this sense I do have this old skirt it doesn't fit me anymore and it's got a big stain on the front which is really really good and I'm gonna use this to transform this donut ring into something seriously cute okay so I take back what I said on the previous transformation maybe this one is the easiest so we're gonna turn this donut headband into a seriously cute pumpkin all you have to do is like I said get a piece of old fabric and in this case I'm just using an old skirt that doesn't fit anymore and cutting out a nice size bit of fabric. Once you've done this, you just need to lay that down. As you can see, put the donut headband in the center of the fabric and simply just turn in the fabric into the center of that donut. You can play about a little bit and dress it a little bit, but as you can see, it's that simple that it actually creates a really cute little pumpkin. Then just to finish it off, I did get a twig from the garden, which is so easy, and I stuffed it in the top and you've just got this super seriously cute homemade little pumpkin and of course what's so great about this is if you want to make several of these then you can just buy several of those donut headbands and use different fabrics at home and it's so quick super easy and you've got lots of gorgeous little pumpkins <laughs> actually quite ugly from Poundland but I'm feeling it. So we have got here a pin board. This here is was just creeping. I just saw it and I just thought hmm we 
we can we can transform this into something pretty cute. A couple of things that you obviously need for this transformation is some photos or some quotes or whatever you want to stick on your pin board. You probably need some pins so you can actually stick those photos and quotes on there. I'm personally going to be using these lovely silver sparkly. Silver? That is not silver. What just came out of my mouth? I'm personally going to be using these lovely orangey gold sparkly pumpkins for this transformation as well. And from Poundland, they also obviously had the Halloween range, okay? Now, autumn is also linked in with the Halloween. Of course it is. Halloween is prime with the pumpkins and the witches and everything like that. So I did pick up this lovely lacy tablecloth which can i just say guys for a quid that is so fabulous you've got a lacy tablecloth for halloween if you want to have a halloween lacy tablecloth but i decided to pick it up to actually transform this it's gonna be so cool okay so this final one we are transforming this really ugly pin board as you can see it is pretty ugly we're gonna grab this gorgeous lace tablecloth which can i just say is amazing for a pound anyway if you want to use it for halloween and pop over your table it's just a really beautiful decoration and we're just going to simply pop this over the pin board turn it over and as you can see the tablecloth is obviously too big so you do just need to tear off that fabric and cut it down so you don't have loads of excess fabric on the back so that the pin board will still lay down really easily once you've done this you can pull it tightly and in this case i've literally just taped it to the back <laughs> just want to stick on those lovely gorgeous glittery pumpkins obviously this is optional but i quite like this it's sweet and i'm just sticking it on those original dots that were originally there on the old pin board <laughs> Once you've done this, you just get some sweet little photos. So these are like really old photos of us when we were little. And I just thought I'd pop them on there. So you can just simply pin them on your pin board, add whatever you would like on there. So in this case, I'm just getting an A4 piece of paper. And with a marker, I'm just writing fall is here. And happy Halloween, basically. <laughs> And I'm just gonna cut these out as little quotes and pin them on my pin board around with the photos too. And I just feel like this is such a nice pin board to have around on Halloween. You can put recipes on there, you can pin up your shopping list, but it just goes from this really boring grey one to something real autumnal, very, very Halloween-y. And it's fun, it's exciting, and it was super easy to create. Okay guys, so there you have it. I have transformed five lovely Poundland transformations, which I'm actually so super proud of. I mean, we've got some sick Poundland transformations here. We've transformed them from literally things that cost a quid into some lovely homemade decor, autumn decor for your home. So I hope that you loved my transformations today. Let me know, of course, which one was your favorite. And of course, show me some love. If you did love this video, then don't forget to smash that thumbs up, stick around, if you want to stick around yeah going too weird with that now i hope you have a lovely rest of your evening a fabulous week and i definitely will see you guys on my next video see you then bye